start the day yet I just wanna stay Even if we run late This morning let's take our time Everybody needs a break right sometimes This one is in Marshall Park, Charlotte. Hey there, you cutie. Look at it, just, just paddling this little, little uh, web feet. Look at that, oh. I just love no. nature, oh my goodness. Now we're just partaking in the beautifulness, yes, beautifulness of being at this park. They got weddings going on down there. Well, they're taking wedding pictures. My family's up there doing they thing. And so, yeah, we came and had a little picnic just to get out into the, you know, sun and experience a different park. Try and go to different ones. You know, let my children experience different things, different sceneries in different places. So yeah, and plus we need all the sun we can get, okay? <laughs> so yeah, it's so pretty out here. Y'all know I love nature. Look at the grass. So pretty. The lake down there. I didn't get a chance to film the turtle. My daughter said, there's a turtle. And by the time I looked at it, then, uh went under the water. So I didn't get a chance to do that. Anywho, it's such a beautiful day. My family up there playing frisbee. Uh-huh. All right. I'll see y'all momentarily. You're special and she's reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless. Oh, oh my goodness. So, I am at um, Zaxby's getting ready to get something to eat. Something quick. I'm getting ready to go over here and park. I thought I was getting ready to go into the dining room. But it's closed. Oh my gosh. Every time I go to a restaurant, the dining room is closed. And or there's only like three people working in that whole establishment. Really? That's what we're doing now. I'm not understanding where everyone is. <laughs> where in the piss is everybody at? There's nobody but like three people working in some of these restaurants, okay? They got the dining room closed, all right? And it's just like, this is supposed to be fast food restaurants. Supposed to be fast, okay? And we sitting in line for like 20, 30 minutes. I'm not going to sit in line no more than 10 minutes. Put that into your mental car. <laughs> uh -uh. No, 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 okay? But anyway... Your girl hungry, so I'm sitting in line. And like I said, I'm finna get something quick. I'm probably gonna get one of those little um kitty finger meals, okay? I ain't got time. I thought about that, uh, what is it? The Southwest salad again. But the way um my salad was set up last time, I'm probably gonna leave that alone, okay? Let me order my food. Thank you for choosing Zaxby's. My name is Lacey. What can I get for you today? Uh, yes. Let me get a kitty finger meal, please. That's all right for dipping? 
Yes. And All right, what's gonna be the drink with that? A pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Alright. That's all. Your total is gonna be $4.91. We'll be happy to serve you at the window. Thank you. I know y'all be like, that girl stay in Zaxby's. And do. <laughs> and do. Lord, where is my money, child? You know they be waiting. Kill me. You smell me. Okay, I ain't got time for that. So anyway. Mm -hmm. I must be too far away from the curb because they keep looking at me <laughs> when they hand out my food. Thank you. You too. Honey, he sounded like he was from um, Louisiana. He's saying that he might be from losing us. So, let me go ahead and fill you in. What's been going on behind the scenes? Let me eat my Zaxby food too. So, number one thing why I haven't been posting, my son has been under the weather with his allergies. He came home Wednesday. He got in the car. Uh, keep him, So, two weeks prior, uh, still when school was freshly getting started, I told the teacher that he has allergies. It's, it's documented, okay? So if you get a cough, a sneeze, uh, a runny nose, or whatever else, watery eyes, he has allergies. So anywho, um, I, I, dress my I dress my son from head to toe. Not bragging. I did it with my two girls, okay? I dressed them in name brand from head to toe. Now, they had some things that, you know, would just kick around clothes just to get them through. Okay, they did have some of those. But the main time they went to school, they was dressed from head to toe. And they were smelling fresh from head to toe. Okay. Um, so, I dressed my son head to toe, name brand, everything. And I know a lot of parents might say, why do you do that? He's only in kindergarten. And they don't need to dress like that. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> don't cuff me. That's how I dress my children. I was dressed like that. I dress my children like that. And I know they're going to get dirty. I've already been through two. Okay? Two girls. I already know the deal. So, um, yeah. He comes home with his shoes. Uh, a hot mess. Okay? I sent him to school in some shoes on Wednesday. Brand new white Reeboks. Ooh, them things. Purdy. Sent him to school, honey. He got in the car and he was dusty red. <laughs> He was dusty red, just like his Converse's, his daggum, um, uh, his Nikes, his daggum other shoes, honey. Come home, they dusty red, chair. And I'm like, what in the piss is you doing, son? I mean, I'm not going to fuss at him because, like I said, children going to play. So, only thing mommy can do is if I choose to send him to school dressed like that, is get my little tail in there and go wash his, his shoes and, let, and, and that's it, okay? Because I choose to do it, so I got to go in there and do the consequences from it, which is wash the shoes. Anywho, so he got in the car Wednesday and his eyes was watering and um, looking like when they was looking when we came home from a concert in the park we had been in the grass on a blanket and when he got home that night all hell broke loose his eyes were watery red and pussy his nose was running you know the drill with allergies so that's what happened on wednesday and it started to progress like um wednesday thursday you know, and then i decided to take him to the doctor which i already know is his allergies but i wanted to be sure it's a lot floating around out here, okay? And he had already told me about little Susie. Little Susie was sick um, not too long ago. He was telling me about little Susie. That's not her name, but you know I gotta give them names, okay? And so I was like, little Susie was sick. What was little Susie doing? Okay? So you know, because my son tell me everything, okay? So he proceeded to tell me about little Susie. I think he said little Susie had to go home. Okay. <laughs> now, mind you, they wear masks in their class, okay? It may be one that doesn't. We have the option 
we can sign a, a exemption form if we choose to. So I think it's one in there that doesn't. And so anyway, you're talking about little Susie. So I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, uh huh, little Susie was in school and said she was sick now. Mm hmm. And you know when they go outside to play, they take the man. I said, so son, was you near little Susie? <laughs> Where was little Susie at, honey? Okay, give me the deets, all right? I want no deets. So he was telling me little Susie was behind him in line or something like that. So anywho, he came home and all this, all hell was breaking loose. And I was like, he reminded me of the time we went to the park and everything. And so, you know, I, we went to the doctor. Chad, I called the primary doctor that he go to. They talked back. They booked till uh next week. What the? Two of them in, in two counties. Well, in one county. They have two of them in one county. Talking about they booked till next week. I said, O-M-G. So we ended up having to go to um another place. So we went there um, just because mommy wanted to be safe and, and to make sure ain't nothing wrong with my baby. No underlining, nothing wrong with my child, okay? So um got there. Explained the situation, told him everything going on, told him the medicines he's on for his allergies and things of that nature. So um, they asked me, they said, do you want to go ahead and do this right here? Just to make sure that is nothing. And I was telling my husband before I got there, before we got there, I was like, I ain't doing nothing that. I ain't taking nothing. We ain't been do that. Been sticking that up my son's nose and all this. My son gonna have a fit and this, that, and the other. But when I got in there, I had to calm myself down. I had to think about him. I said, you know what? I'm about to, you know, get my child checked out to make sure he's okay. Because at the end of the day, it ain't about what I don't, what I want or what I don't want. It's about to make sure my child is okay. So we did that. Everything um, came out negative, thank God. And I'm super happy about that, which I knew it would. Because, like I said, it's allergies. And, and and if so facto, if anything else was involved in there, it'd be a tiny cold. You know what I'm saying? So a tiny cold mixed with allergies is not a good thing. All right? It is really not a good thing. I have allergies, and I know. So, yeah. And so um, what he wrote on that, what he um, came back with was allergies as well. Excuse me. Was allergies as well. Y'all got to learn how to drive. I know. You stop stuffing your daggum face, you can park this car like you're supposed to. I know I'm eating, but I'm already parked. <laughs> Shoot. But anyway, that's what it was, allergies. So, he had to stay out of school uh, two days because they gave him a doctor's note for being um, out of school the first day. And then they gave him one to stay out of school for the next day. Um, that's what it is. It's allergies. You know how they are. They don't want to send school no fever, no cough, and I can't help that. Because if my son having a, a bad allergy attack, that's what comes with it. So what the piss am I supposed to do? You feel me? So that's that's um that's what's been going on here, okay? I've been nursing my baby been nursing my baby and what else and I've also been trying to get our home in order as far as prepping for things preparing for things um, that may arise mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> honey she knows she wearing that skirt honey because she is stepping in them what is them like a three four five inch heel Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I took the nails off, y'all. Got one left. This one right here is stubborn, won't come off, so I gotta wait till it fall off. Anywho, I've been prepping our home, trying to get it prepared. Storms, stuff like that. Get our pantry stocked, non-perishables. And just making sure that we are okay. We're we're fine. And, and we're going to be good should anything arise. And, yeah, that's what's been going on over here. That's why I ain't been over here, y'all. Okay? I, I have real-life situations behind the scene that come first before 
YouTube. It just be like that sometimes. So I have to deal with that, take care of that, because that's more important than posting the video. You know what I'm saying? And I, I kind of hinted around to it on my other channel that we about to be moving in a different direction <laughs> over there. And the reason being is because it's too much going on. It's too much going on. And I don't really feel that I should be doing as many hauls as I used to due to everything that's going on in the world. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to come off as a shallow person because, you know, being a YouTuber and being someone that does hauls, you get a lot of backlash. I haven't got a lot of backlash about stuff. I've got a few, okay, a few, but I know it comes with the territory, but however, I don't want anyone to ever think that's all I do. It's shop, okay? It's haul. It's not. I have many other things that I do as well. Some have been documented over there on that channel. Some haven't. Okay, there is other things that I can't do. I'm not one of those shallow people that just, just all I do is just shop all the damn time. No, I don't, okay? So, um, I kind of ease it off. And I do one haul a week. If it, if any, because I feel there's more important things for me to be putting my money to other than buying a lot of um, frivolous things that I really don't need. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, we can use the things, but we don't have to have those things. You understand what I'm saying? Like if me going in Dollar Tree and getting like, just, just for instance, a hundred dollars worth of craft items. Okay. I don't have a use for a hundred dollars worth of craft items. I mean, we could do a little different crafts. You could say you do a little different crafts um, every weekend or something like that. But I don't have a, a need right then for a hundred dollars worth of crap. You understand what I'm saying? The only thing that I'm trying to focus on now, if I go into Dollar Tree, is things that I need. Because a lot of times when I was first starting out, I was just buying, you know, just to get in because it was nice it was a dollar you understand what i'm saying but over time that stuff starts to accumulate when you're not destashing like you're supposed to be destashing and i haven't destashed in like a while so i have like two totes full of stuff that i need to destash and so it starts to pile up i don't i'm not no hoarder and i'm not gonna be a hoarder okay so i have to back off uh on a lot of that because of that too. I don't want to have a whole lot of stuff in my house that I'm not using. And also for the simple fact, I need to only buy stuff that I'm actually using. Like when I go in Dollar Tree, I need to get stuff like that we need for our household, like say non-perishables. That is something that is very useful and beneficial to our family. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Or or um like I don't know. Things that you actually can use, okay? So that's just my thing. That's my thing. I ain't knocking nobody who go in there, spend what you want to, get what you want to, okay? But as for me and my household, this is how I'm trying to roll it out now, okay? So I just like to browse. Sometimes me browsing is very beneficial to me. I don't have to go in and purchase something every time I go to a different store just for the sake of a haul. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay? I don't want to do that. Now, I might buy some things here and there. You know, some little pretties here and there. But I'm I'm not going to be dropping dropping money down like I was when we can use that money for other things. Okay? And that's just for me and my household. Like I said, uh, that, that, don't make me beep the horn. Hey, look. So, that's just my thing. Like I said, I ain't knocking nobody, okay? Because I love Dollar Tree. I love it. But it took me a minute to actually get myself together to where I see that this is going left for me. And it was going left. <laughs> and I don't want it to go left. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if any of you have actually noticed the direction it is going in. 
I got shot with me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on my banner. Mm -hmm. And I'm just waiting on God to come through. To come through and push that right on out. Like it's supposed to be. Because that's what I want to do. I just want to browse. That helps me a lot too. Just browsing. It fulfills me just the same as purchasing. A lot of times. Because after I look at everything. And, and be in awe of it. Then I don't want to purchase it. <laughs> then I don't want to purchase it. I already got my thrill from it. You understand? So yeah. Mm-hmm. Child, the things you see, the things you see, I done seen a lot. I be wanting to turn this camera around here. Yeah, hey. Mm, mm, mm. Now, girl, you know you don't need that. You don't need that. You do not need that. Look, she don't need that. She got, she got two of them signs. I don't need mine, neither, child. <laughs> but she had two of them big signs. Like I was hauling. You couldn't even get in the car. Mm -hmm. That's a sign. All right, you guys. I'm about to go ahead and get into this uh, store. Cause it's getting crowded. I see everybody. Uh -huh. Um, I'll pick y'all back up momentarily. Walmart, and they got out some mums, some ones that I like. These are twelve ninety seven, and they come in these little decorative pots. So I think I'm gonna go with these. But you see how they already drying up right there? I'm gonna find some that ain't going through a hard time. Okay. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pick out mine. They got some over here too for like seven dollars and eighty four cent, and five dollars and eighty four cent. I don't like those. So. I'm going to find some over here. All right. So now I'm over here looking for some pumpkins. Because you know you got to have your mom's and you got to have a pumpkin too. To go on the step. But I can't pick up these daggum big pumpkins. I'm going to have to go here and find one that I can uh, pick up y'all. Okay you guys. So I went to Burke's and Marshall's this morning. Because I was looking for some items to stock up at my coffee bar. And get everything together. So look at this. I picked up this. What is this? Joy and Skinny Serps, Zero Calories, Zero Sugar, Hazelnut, right here. Y'all see this? Now, these were inexpensive. These were $3.99, okay? You could put them in coffees, lattes, cappuccinos, yogurt, or oatmeal, protein shakes, bacon, or desserts. So, that's what you could use these for. I'm hoping it says zero sugar, okay? Now, children can taste when there is no sugar, <laughs> So I'm hoping my children won't really notice that my girls, okay, my son, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna know that, but my girls, they be on it. But I picked this up, and then I also got this one right here, salted caramel, because I said, you know what, we gonna save a coin, okay? Mama ain't gonna be going to Starbucks every other day, all right, and spend, spending five and seven dollars a pop on each chair. I, I, no, we're not gonna do that. So, I said, we're going to save a coin, and I'm going to buy the Serps myself. Okay, so that's what I did. I got two Serps, and I also got another Serp from Dollar Tree. It's pumpkin spice. Then, I also picked up these, um, what is this, Pearl Line, the little cream-filled wafers. You know, you can find these in Dollar Tree. However, you cannot find pumpkin spice in Dollar Tree. So, I picked these up. I thought these would be a real um, great little fun snack to have over at the coffee bar also so these were $3.99 look at this big old thing $3.99 so I got those then I picked up I wanted some biscotti Burks didn't have any biscotti so I had to go to Marshall's and get their biscotti now this is almond orange right here y'all see this 
And these were $2.99. See, I, I try and stay on a budget when I'm trying to do things. I like to stay on the budget, okay? So, yeah, these were $2.99 for some almond orange right there. Then I picked up these Walkers shortbread fingers right here. It says 70 calories per pack. And you get 15 of them. This packaging feels so nice. I've been playing with this packaging uh, for the longest. It feels so nice. It feels different, okay? It feels like some type of good quality. So, these were... These were five nine nine. This was the most expensive thing right here. These daggum shortbread fingers, okay, and they better be good, okay. So I got some little things to start out, so I can put over there at the coffee bar, y'all, okay. So I have already started doing some things, you know, uh, get my little counter together um, for the fall. All right, I'm still not through. But, yeah, this is what I got so far. Okay. Uh -huh. So, yeah. All right. So, I also picked up this two-pack of dish drying mats right here. The $4.99. Y'all see this? And it's like a mint color. Like what I'm kind of using in here in the kitchen. So, I picked this up right here. All right. Then, it had like this juicy gown. And it's so comfortable. It feels so comfortable. Y'all see the word juicy in rainbow colors? They had this. And I was like, I wasn't even planning on getting any apparel. But when I seen it, I said, let me go ahead and snatch that up. So, it's $9.99. I thought it was really cute. And while I was in there, I went over to the children's section. I picked up some, some joggers right here. Um, these were very inexpensive, $14.99. Y'all see that? Um, I usually, oh well, it'll be okay. Um, so I got him those. Then I picked him up some little, um, scooter, scooter do joggers right here. This is what I call the, um, the off brand. I call them scooter do, you know, when I want him to just to go ahead and go to school and have something on where he can play in. I'm not really worried about him falling. So I need to go pick up him some more scooter do little jogger pants. Okay. Cause son, he be doing too much. He be doing too much. And these were six 99. Okay. Just for him, you know, to go outside and play these little jogger pants. I'm going to stock up on he can write, he can color, he can do whatever he want to in them, okay? And I don't really care about them. But he also has, you know, like the good ones too. But yeah, so I got him those. Then I picked him up this cute little rainbow champion uh, shirt right here. I got it to go with these, these joggers right here. And they have little pockets on each side too. I got him to go with this. I was trying to find the matching joggers to go with them, but they didn't have any. So... E, let me see. I know I ain't pay sixteen dollars for that. I, 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 I no. Let's see. So it was seven nine nine. Okay, seven nine nine for this little champion shirt. I thought it was really really pretty. Get him some cute little shoes to go with it. And so yeah. All right. So that is my haul, y'all. That I have accumulated this morning when I should have been at home. <music>